Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife and we'd like to welcome you to Teradice. And today we're going to peel back the curtain a little bit. We're going to talk about, we cover a lot of games, uh, but how do we actually go through the selection process of what we review on this channel? A lot of work gets put into how we prepare for those reviews and how we approach reviewing content. Uh, so yeah, we wanted to talk about that and a little bit about our business. Yeah, yeah. and a little mm -hmm. bit like why reviews are even important. So. If that sounds like something you might want to learn about, then just keep watching. Okay, so I think first we should start by talking about where we actually started with review content. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like, we played a lot of games uh, and we like love playing games. We live and breathe games. We'd be talking Especially about them now. <laughs> even if we weren't on camera. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think like, we, when we were playing some games, we were like, these are really fun, and I think it'd be really fun to create a YouTube channel where we talk about games. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, we were just starting to design Bark Avenue. We thought we could just like turn this into like a whole thing that we enjoyed doing. Mm -hmm. um, so we produced a lot of like reviews of our own volition, where like we just chose games off our shelf that we really enjoyed, and we started covering them. Yeah, we just started talking mm -hmm. about them, because we were doing that off camera anyway, and it has really became, we wanted to become the best designers we could, because we like design games and mm -hmm. playing games and discussing why you even like it as like was really helpful and it's still yeah. so helpful it's like a case study where you're like it's almost like homework <laughs> yeah it does feel like homework yeah. yeah I feel like the first year I went through like a school like board game college <laughs> <laughs> like studying rule books and everything like that and what makes yeah. it even fun it's like really psychological mm -hmm. too yeah yeah so how we go about choosing games. Do you want to talk about that next? How yeah, do we yeah. choose content for our channel? So I think originally, you know, we'd choose things off of our shelves and like we would just review what we wanted to. Mm -hmm. But at that point, you know, we started to attract a little attention. We started getting reach outs from publishers. Uh, that was really exciting because they're always looking for coverage. Uh, and they typically will have, you know, couple dozen review copies or whatever that they'll send out before a release of a game. Uh, usually with smaller reviewers when we first started, it's like games that are already out. Now that made it a lot easier because I could find other content on it. I wouldn't watch other reviews because I don't want to just copy what other people say, but I'd kind of skip through to see, okay, they generally found this pretty good. I would be able to find the rule books online, so I would do a ton of homework and read through the rule book. I'd talk to you about it. We'd say like, hey, this is this kind of game. Does this mm -hmm. sound like something that would be fun? And if it is, we would accept a review copy. So. Yeah. So with mm -hmm. that being said, I think uh, I know a lot of work goes into what we select. So we give a lot of positive reviews on this channel, but that mm -hmm. is because there is a backlog of things that we are saying no to. Um, and we are like, no, I don't think that's going to be a right fit for you guys. I don't think that's a right fit for us. Um, uh, I can tell mm -hmm. by reading over it. So we're not taking everything in because I don't want to waste your guys' time either by showing you a game that I don't think is up to par. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that kind of wastes time. I want this to be a channel that you guys come to to find great games to play. That's just <laughs> who we are. If you want to find reviews on tons of other things, um, on negative things, you can go find those <laughs> other places. And we do occasionally. We do. We, we bashed on uh, Space Mountain recently. Do yeah. We, yes. <laughs> I, we will cover Disney content no matter what because we want, because we know you guys like Disney content. So we want to tell you what this is. Is mm -hmm. it good? Like why? And when I say like, if don't want to waste your time, I believe a game, if a really a good game is, is meant for somebody, even mm -hmm. if it's not meant for us, I will still cover it on this channel because I do think it is meant for somebody. Because yeah. this, mm -hmm. like, especially games that are coming from big publishers, those have gone through so much playtesting, so much iteration. So I know that they are for somebody. And I think that is why we always try and come into it a game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This may not be in the kind of play style, but who are they trying to get to play this game? Who are they targeting? Who do I, I think my friend Bob, Bob Smith would love this game. I don't, but he, Bob does. Um, yeah, so I think Well, and we know, because a lot of the people we play with, we have a large group of people that we play games with yes. who are like, I loved this game. And I was like, really? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. So I think that's our mindset going into it too, and why we mm -hmm. always put a positive twist um, or try to at least put a positive yeah. twist on our reviews and who they are for. So that's how we choose our content. So now let's go into the subject that everyone finds really interesting is <laughs> do we get paid? What do we get paid and how, if, why? All right, you yeah. wanna take it off? <laughs> yeah, so I think like, first of all, like if it's a review that we're doing on this channel, we're not getting paid for it. Nope. Um, so in fact, actually, we don't get paid for any of our content because all we do are reviews and lists and skits. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't do any paid sponsors paid coverage at this point in time. 
time. Um, so our compensation consists of we get the review copy, uh, which a lot of times is like a brand new exciting game, you know, like we'll get uh, My Little Everdell, we'll get like before it releases, uh, and that's like really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, but I think like as much fun as that is, there's so much work, work attached to it. It's like reading the rule book, doing the prep for the video, setting up all the lights. Like uh, this is our, also our daughter's nursery, so we have to like roll out her crib and like work weird hours to make this work. So if you count all of that in, I don't know if that's really worth $30 to me most of the time or $50. Um, so I think like, uh, yeah, it kind of evens itself out. Mm -hmm. But where we actually do get some money is, uh, so we get uh, ad revenue from YouTube. So if you're watching our videos, there's the before and after ads. If you have premium, there's like a couple pennies that come out of that towards our videos. Uh, and pretty much that covers our subscription services for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects and Photoshop for Epidemic Sound, which is like our sound library that we use for, for music. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we kind of break even on, on that, honestly. Yeah, so that one we yeah. kind of break even on. Um, and then we mm -hmm. also, uh, if you look down in the description, I always put links to where you can find the games. I always have a BGG link where you can have access mm -hmm. to, you can buy the game from wherever you want. I also I'll also stick an Amazon link there, which we are an affiliate with Amazon. So if you do buy it from Amazon, we yeah, get yeah. a a couple pennies tiny, off that. Tiny bit of a kickback <laughs> from that. But I always want to put both because I don't want you to feel like you have to buy it from there. So you might be asking yourself, why do it? Um, why spend <laughs> all this time? Doesn't sound like time? a great business model. Yeah, why spend <laughs> all this time doing it, setting everything up if we're not really making a profit on it? Um, do you want to take that? Yeah, I think yeah. like... Okay, so I would be talking about board games even if I wasn't on camera. So there's the piece of like, we just love talking about board games. We find it fun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a piece you mentioned earlier of like, this is a case study for us. When we study board games and we take the time to like put those opinions on paper, uh, we learn about what makes games good. And as designers, that's something that's beneficial to us too, because we're constantly learning as designers by playing mm -hmm. other people's games. Mm -hmm. I think also like, We've gotten some like absolute bangers as review copies that like we still play all of the time. Basically anything you see behind us like are some of our favorite games that we've like gotten as review copies. Uh, and we'll like still rave about them. Uh, Rear Window's still better than Mysterium. Uh, <laughs> but I think, <laughs> yeah, I think like that's, uh, you know, just it's really fun to be in the industry to see what's new, uh, to go to the conventions and see the publishers that we work with being like, yeah, we're still working on that one, but it's coming out in the spring. Yeah. Uh, I would also say yeah. it's fun. Like this sounds so corny, but it's like I don't want to say influence it because that sounds so bad. But it's fun to like influence people. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah. "Hey, I really like this game, and I learned about it because I saw you recommend it." That makes me really happy that like I can like bring that to people. Yeah. Um. And mm -hmm. like yeah. So oh, I, I don't. I think you would call this income. We get to um sometimes get to go to board game conventions for free. We get to get a um, media pass yeah. to go mm -hmm. into there. Mm -hmm. But that's like a lot of work too because we're meeting with different people. It just people. means we're filming and meeting the entire time instead of playing games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that is cool that yeah. we get to do that. That's It's also really fun. That's I think that's another motivator of why we do it because it's, it's just fun. Yeah. Um, and to get to do the business together. Yeah. And to, to help them grow. cover their things too. I think like the way that I always love talking about it is like, I am here to cover your things. It's like I'm here to celebrate your new releases. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we can just like film their t their tables while they're telling us about their new thing and like post about that, uh, you know, we don't have the largest reach, uh, but like it's it's still people who get to see new things uh, because we've brought it up and I think yeah. that's a lot of fun. And also from mm -hmm. a business perspective, um, it like we are also designing our own game. So anything that we can help the community learn about us, like I'm gonna say, that's a reason too. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, what other things will we, we will never pay, get pay, have anyone pay us for a review. That's just across the board for the future. Oh, when yeah, it's yeah, against yeah. regulation I mean, <laughs> and we will never do that because I don't want you guys to have to yeah. like have my opinion for that. But will we ever pay, get paid for promotional stuff? Um, I would not. I wouldn't say no. It depends. Yeah. We personally feel that we need to have a reach where I could justify it to the person that I am. Um, yeah, we don't have anywhere near that it. reach today. Yeah, it mm -hmm. would just be no opinion. It would be like a preview, like telling you, informing you it's about a, the this game. This is sponsored. Everywhere. Yeah, but it would be like an informing <laughs> video for like Kickstarter or something like that. Um, we paid for a couple 
promotional things um, for when we were doing our Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe well, not really out. Maybe someday we'll have a Patreon. I'm just saying, like there could be uh, the future is hopefully bright. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but, yeah. we just kind of wanted yeah. to just show you guys why we give a lot of positive reviews, why like why we choose the games we do. Yeah, um, generally yeah. we really enjoy the games that we play, and that makes it fun to cover. But it's because we're like I will spend an hour reading a rule book before I ever decide on you know these things. You know, if it's a very reputable publisher and they don't have any information released, sometimes we take blind copies. Mm -hmm. uh, but very rarely they have to have a very good reputation. Yes. Um, so most of the time, I require a rule book that I read and then I tell you about it and then we talk about it and decide. Yeah, yeah. where I think this is actually mm -hmm. a huge one. Why I don't really care if it's a review copy or not. Like that's not going to make me put in a game in a list. I would say how many percentage most of our games and our best videos best board games for couples we bought with our own oh money. yeah uh it's uh 10 percent of them were review copies 10 percent across all review. four of our board games for the couples. other ones we yeah. have literally just gotten with our own money yeah. but also 10 percent. it's like it shows that you know we're choosing good quality things yeah yep. and it's like a lot of what we also get to review are not just you know two player games so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i think that's just about it so let us know down below if you have any questions we're pretty open book um We'll talk to you guys. Uh, let me know down below if there's any reviews you want to see. If you like the style of review we do, just feedback on that. All right, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever we put out a new video. And we'll see you next time. Happy, Happy playing! playing.